All right, there's half the floor in. Hello everybody and welcome to Plucking and Trucking. I'm standing here in the boogie bin right now and we are getting it ready to head out on the road on the road for full-time adventure. Show you what we got going on here. So there's the big Nardis, the mountain floof. Um, we're building a soap floor right here and then later we're going to strip down everything, all of the walls, the ceiling, the lights, everything out of here so tomorrow it can go in to be spray foamed. Once the trailer is spray foamed, it will be completely sealed, very well insulated, and super comfortable. And the biggest thing is, sorry about the lighting here, I'm trying to find a good place. Um, the biggest thing is it's gonna be sealed. Um, I lived in it all summer and the biggest uh, issue with it was that the dust just got in so bad. Um, so, very much looking forward to having the boogie bin sealed and heading out on the road to start trucking. All right, we just got the boogie bin back and we're all sealed up and insulated now. It should be nice and toasty in there and should keep the dust pretty well at bay. So here's what we're looking at now. Um, we've got a gig tonight here in Casper, so we're gonna go practice for that and then work on this some more tomorrow. So we're all spray foam now. We're scraping off the wood, uh, the spray foam off all the wood slats so we can lay the floor even. All right, there's half the floor in. Very solid. And the other half to do. There we go. Starting out, of, starting to run out of steam, but we're gonna get done what we can. Finish the rest of the base floor today. Probably call it a night. Subfloor. Subfloor. See how battery changed? Holy fuck. <laughs> There she is.
never paint with a dry brush. That is about all I've got for painting advice though. All right, there's the first big sheet down. And glued on and looking relatively good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna bring my next piece in here that I can use and cut it and then probably get ready for the gig tonight. So that's about it for today. I might be able to get the floor in after the gig. It just depends on how I feel because it'll be probably 10 o'clock at least before I'm home, but we'll see. All right, starting to put the walls back up, got them painted, slightly different color. Looks a little weird, that's okay. This is a professional job, people. We got the flooring all the way in, that also looks very professional. We do it right around here. <laughs> no, I'm stuck to get this thing done and I'm really more worried about functionality than perfect symmetry and everything like that. <sighs> Okie doke, we're getting the walls in now. Um, I'm on the last two, I gotta put that little one in over there. And then we've got the ceiling to do. But we're getting her buttoned up. Uh, we gotta get a Laramie tomorrow, so we'll probably finish it by the end of next week. Stay tuned. Okay, now we've got the ceiling on. Let's see. Walls. All right, had to leave town for a couple days, but we are back and working on the boogie bin. I'm so excited to get this done. Um, today, we're going to clean up, mount the bed, and just see what else we can get in here. I don't know. Feeling pretty froggy. I might stay up late and just knock it out. We'll see. I think the first thing we're going to do today is try to get the bed in. We got to get it mounted to that wall right there. So let's see how that goes. So this bed has been the absolute bane of my existence since I started living in the boogie bin last summer. Um, so I'm mounting it straight into the wall because I know exactly where I want it now and it's just gonna stay there permanently. It folds up, but I'll show you what I'm doing this time to make it a little easier to mount this thing. So I just went ahead and cut, I need to straighten that back one out, but I just cut some pieces of wood the same length as the legs on this side kind of prop it up so I can line it up and screw it into the wall well. Now, the thing about it is we've got to go back here. We have to go into that metal stud, but right here, right here, we're just too far away to hit the stud. So I have to put a metal support plate in behind it. So I guess I'll do that first, which means this wall has to come off. All right, so I'm not exactly sure this is how these support plates work. Well, we're gonna go right in to the metal stud on the wall here, and then screw the bed into that metal plate. That should support it, and that actually might be how it works, I'm not sure. I threw away the instructions a long time ago. Okay, now I gotta put the wall back up. Oh, just punching useless holes. I did miss with the bottom one, so gotta move this whole, whole thing down a little bit. All right, let's try this again. Feels pretty solid. Okay. 
I need to go find three bolts. And I'm getting kind of hungry. So we might just go pick some up at Home Depot and grab some food. We've got this end in. This is two of these, one's on the back side, and I just sandwiched them together with these four bolts and then ran these through. Now I gotta do the same right there. And that means I have to take those off again for the third time. So usually, you know, when it comes to working on the boogie bin, just plan on doing it three times anyways. So we're right on track. Okay, I bolted that plate on the back side because I didn't have another one to sandwich it like I did that one, but it's plenty strong. I put all my weight right on the edge and the wood flexed a little bit, but it didn't crack or anything, didn't come close to breaking. So I think with my weight distributed, on the whole bed it should be plenty fine plenty strong and uh yeah so now the bed's permanently mounted and we're super excited about that because now when i get to camp at one in the morning uh i don't have to fix my bed before i go to sleep like i have done every other night <laughs> it seems like it was in rough shape there for a while but we're good now we're good we finally got it that was just in and of itself, way too long of a project. Now I gotta test it out. Uh, looks like, oh, we're just hung up back here. Bleh. We got a little bit of a gap, but I shouldn't notice that when I'm sleeping with a mattress pad over it, so I think that's fine. And, oh, oh my God. Feels good to lay down. I've been working on this trailer so hard for the last week and we're kind of on the home stretch now just got to get everything organized Oof, i feel like an old bed on my back <laughs> all right well stay tuned i don't know what else we're gonna get done tonight but since the bed is installed that means i'm sleeping in here tonight which means this is officially my first night living on the road as a traveling musician even though we're still parked over here at my grandpa's shop. First night in the biggie bin of many. It's not my first night in here, but it's the first night of this grand adventure that we're going on. So stay tuned for that. I'll do a full tour of the trailer once I get it all organized and everything. Probably include that in this video, so. This is the cool thing about this bed. Holds out into a dinette, I believe is the official term for what this is. Put a little table in the middle. Luxury, baby. Put some E-Track back up. Just doing some organizing now. Uh, we got a gig coming up here in about an hour. But uh, just getting done what I can today. So, got straps organized, all the E track up on the walls. You see, I'm just hanging stuff up to get it out of the way for now. And yeah, we'll see if we can't get a few cabinets in. They go up here. First up is the red toolbox. Hi, Nardis. I'm just going through and organizing everything. Um, living in a space this small, I think really the way to be at peace is gonna be to be as organized as possible. So I'm going through everything before it goes back in the trailer. All right, got the toolbox strapped down. About 20 more minutes before I gotta get ready for this gig. So I guess I'll start filling it. I don't think I'm gonna get anything else in here right now. Unless I just make that my focus, emptying everything out, putting it in here so that I can fill it back up, organized, in an organized fashion. <sighs> Anyways, when we uh, put the subfloor in, we, we lost about an inch, maybe even more of floor or of height in the trailer. So I have to cut off the bottom of this cover to make it fit, which is what I did before because when I got it, it was already too tall anyways. All I can do is write them in a song. 
I can see the concrete slowly creeping. You gotta take this hinge off. So I knocked the back off this when I was sawing through it. So now I have to screw it back in. And uh, yeah, there you go. Now it's uh, it's time to get ready for this gig. So I'm gonna get to a stopping point here and load up. I don't have too much more gear to grab. Most of it's already in the truck. So stay tuned for a little tunes. on the boogie bin she's coming together folks we've got another cabinet in here we'll start putting stuff in buckets and getting organized i've got i'll have this cabinet space for buckets and then a filing cabinet right about there it'll kind of hook onto that hook um i don't know a bunch of storage area out there there's the solar panel it just rides on the wall there, there we go. That's a little better angle. And then we've got the toolbox back there. So between all of that, let's see if we can get a little organized in here. Alrighty, so here's where we're at right now. We've got those two cupboards up front in their home. Bunch of hooks on the wall, all the E-track up. And just getting organized now. Got the bed up, installed well, so I won't have any more issues with that. Knock on wood. And uh, there's the toolbox, just getting everything put away and organized now, so. Not much longer, and I mean, we're already living in here, but hopefully it'll be mobile, everything will be organized, and we'll be good to hit the road. So, I think I've got two days till Sunday. It's Friday, yeah. So I've got today and tomorrow. I have a gig tomorrow, but I'll see what I can get done. That's sort of the deadline. Another quick update. We're moving along really fast. So before I get too far ahead of myself, we've got the freezer in. She's getting cooled down right now. And I'm gonna get, got a bunch of meat and stuff to put in there. Got this thing for blowing dust out, just useful for cleaning and stuff. A little hyper tough action. Hang that up with my fan here. Boom. Hangers are everything living in a boogie bin, man. That's why I've got like 10 of them that I can move wherever I want. Let's see what we got here. Some antelope burger. Some more antelope burger in there. Just to help it cool down, what else? Ah, some wild turkey. That's about turkey season again. We got to get that used up. That's about how full I like to keep the freezer, though. It should last me. I mean, that much food would last me probably a month. So, yeah, let that cool off while well, we got it plugged into AC power still. I let this, this is an apple cool, by the way. And, uh, yeah, I let this get as cold as I can. I have it set to, like, 18 right now. I'll even set it to 16. Let it get as cold as it can if I'm plugged into AC power. So that's when it, it uses the most power, but that's when it gets the most cold. And then when I hit the road and I have to run it off the DC side, it'll still, everything will stay frozen, but it'll be um, in the higher range of freezing. It'll be up in like 26 degrees. So yeah, same thing over here and just getting some more stuff put away. Got the generator in here now, getting stuff charged up and another fan and all kinds of stuff so all right i uh i think we're done i think we're officially living in this thing not just sleeping in it now um so here's the full tour all right starting on the front side no windows yet but we're working on that i honestly haven't decided if i want them or not 
And here we have the battery box. Solar controller, solar charger, runs out of there. We can just plug it into a solar panel. 100 watt, uh, 100 amp hour Renogy gel battery and a 1500 watt inverter down here. Battery charger, extension cord, some tools. Right here is where your AC power would go into, so I'm running that out of the shop right now. Um, yeah, and then not much to see on the outside, just a cargo trailer. Let's come around here and show you inside. All right. So first thing I'll show you over here, we got our lights. We've got our electricity, heater's running right now. And then let's go to the front first. We got that cabinet in there. That's where all my like um, bedding is. My sleeping bags are in there. Um, it might not even be that full. We might be able to move some other stuff in there too. Some of this, it's all just strewn about here. But in there we got food. Uh, dried goods in that one and then in that one is all my cooking gear Honda generator for backup power shower tent thing right there um, here's all the dried goods that I use frequently I just keep them up on top of the filing cabinet which I've got more stuff stored in here like electronics and things like that all my cooking stuff first aid gear some more camping gear um, over here is kind of my music corner. I've got everything I need. You can't see, but I've got my speaker and everything back there. My guitars, everything I need for playing gigs. I've got the fan hanging up over here. Behind that is all my straps and things like that, so I can keep everything nice and secure. I'll have all my hang-up clothes on here for now. I just have this one flannel. Um, we can actually move these over here to save. Now we have an extra hook. This hook will probably be used for my water bucket. So when I need some flowing water, I can just hang this up on here like so. Just kind of press the button, let it drain into that bucket. So kind of primitive, but you know, we don't have the uh, portable hot water thing that I want yet. I'm not sure what I want to get there. So we're kind of holding off on that. Once again, here's the bed, all my hooks on the wall for holding everything. Leaf blower and a broom, that's how we keep her clean. Um, back here, you've got the Jackery. I was charging my phone off that for a while, just kind of trying to get it some, uh, some use. It's been sitting for a while, so I wanted to kind of revamp it. It was charged about 75%. I'm going to drain it down to about 30 and then give it a recharge just to kind of kick it into gear again. Freezer's nice and cool running off the Jackery right now. We've got all that in there. Some more dried goods, some backpacking food in there um adventure gear spare tire i'd like to mount that on the outside one of these days five gallons of water in addition to the two gallons right there that's my battery bag where i keep my jackery and things like that so it stays out of the weather it's kind of like an insulated lunchbox type of thing and yeah that is the boogie bin that's the pad um this is where we're gonna be sleeping and cooking and showering and eating and just i guess living um in the mountains when we're not playing gigs and then when we're playing gigs probably do a little stealth camping in the city kind of looking forward to that uh one more thing i need to do is get a latch on the door though if, especially if i'm going to be stealth camping in some of the towns and whatnot so yeah pretty pumped to be in here and stay tuned for the adventures it's going to be a really fun time it's going to be a challenging time um but I think we're going to make it happen. We're going to stay busy and stay on top of my schedule. And we're going to try to make it work out. So hope to see you guys on the successful side of this. Because right now we're just barely getting started.